one day on the Armstrong Railway, Douglas was pulling in with some empty trucks. He noticed Bird looking upset. What's the matter, Bird? <sighs> it's about the harvest season. I overheard that the one was in the station one station pulling passengers one uh, recently uh, this morning. I noticed that I could hear two farmers saying that the uh, roads are the more form of transport, uh, good transportation rather than us. I feel bad that the what they got, that the control would do. Ah, don't care about it. Eh. Besides, you are only just joking. Just maybe. Eh. No, Douglas, I'm telling the truth. So yourself. But one thing I tell you, sometimes they will be thinking about good transportation. They they say it the wrong way there. I guess I agree with you, Douglas, but I feel bad. Don't worry, I'm sure the small control will understand. On the other side of the railway, Bud was uh, waiting waiting at the signal and really brought down some empty trucks from the mines and taking them back to the yard. Right next to him was a lorry. Oh, I never seen you before. Well, what are you doing here? Oh, as usual, delivering stuff from the, from the farms. In fact, it was so, in fact it was so busy that I got tired of traveling in and out of it. I can't stand of it. You guys can go. You can go as very near, and you don't have to get risk of stuck in a traffic jam. Hmm. We do work a bit, but we heard about that you guys are going to going to like do all the work. Yeah, not all of us can do the work. We need help. Why don't you greet with the controller about about the you should help us. I could try. Yeah, you should. Uh, oh, I gotta go. See you. Bye. Uh, bye. But puffed away, thinking in his mind. When Bud returned to the sheds, he he talked. He explained to explained to the others about what he, about the what the lorry said. Huh? Never mind about them. They're probably too lazy and thinking that we that we got more rest than than, than them. I don't think so, uh, Mike. What do you mean, Jock? You know that the lorries will have travel in and out too much, while we only travel for like long distances and only come back for a short while. He's right, you know. And I thought Mike is very like a complainer. I'm not a complainer. Why do you I like to do this to me? Well, well, but I don't understand about the lorry. What he's just said. I, he said he might agree with the controller about about the we should help with the lorries. I don't think so. They're a bunch of nuisance. Hey, maybe maybe use useless or nuisance what you said, but they need help. I agreed. We should really help them. Tomorrow I will tell the tell the small controller. If he's not around tomorrow, I might try other days. But try as he might other days, he could not get a chance. Until one day. One day, Jock was taking some empty trucks from the mines and taking it back to the yard. As he approached the crossing, he could see something. He could see there's an accident. Max and Monty had collided with each other, and was still, Monty had pinned over over Max. This resulted blocking the roads from entering or leaving the village. Among them was the lorry that, that Bert had just met. Who? Oh, who there? Stop for a moment. What is it? Can you help me deliver those food for me? Why? Why? I thought you guys can handle it. The food will later spoil it by the time this road is cleared. Fine, you can find I'll help you. Now oh, that's good. Max and Monty, in the meanwhile, were still arguing over nothing. This is all your fault. My fault? Oh, why? I all the what? You don't want me off the freaking road. So are you, genius? Never mind about that. You carry on and deliver the food for me. You, I will I'll just deal with these losers later. Yeah, okay then. Goodbye. Jock hurried as fast as he could to make it the last time. But he knew he had to deliver the food first before he had retreat back to the yard. Once he's done, he he hurried back to the yard. Jock managed to return safely. Where have you been, Jock? 
Sorry, sir. I had to go help help out with the lot help out with the lorry who got stuck in the traffic jam and need to deliver the food for the harvest season. I see. Is that the one you're trying to explain to me, Bert? I heard that you. I heard that the Rex told me about about you about ranting over that the about the harvest uh, season and traffic. Yes, that's right, sir. You know the the, the the one one of the lorries say complaining about you about tiring going up and down the line. Yeah, it's true. They always happen at every time. Maybe we could try to help them. Well, that's a good idea. I'll make arrangements over the road. There are a few. You I know there's one place that was more common. We could uh, transfer loads from the lorry to your to your trucks. That what a wonderful idea, but. Why we haven't thought of that before? The next day, Bert and Jock were ordered by the small controller to come down to the vi to the village. That they could see is so many lorries coming in. What and what, including including the one that Bert just met before. Oh, finally, help has arrived. At last, we can get some rest. Oh, it seems like we got two engines now. Look, it looks like we got more rest for me then. Yeah, I'm glad that we're going to here to help out with the harvest season. How long will be the harvest season? Eh, it should be about a couple. It should be about a couple of days, but but eventually it will end by the end of this month. Okay then, that means we'll see you more often then," said Jock, and he puffed away.